then you can see there are several fingers that shoot off this room. Kind of, there's a central chamber up here. It's round, and then there are four fingers that just kind of go through. Whatever. What's in here? It smells like something's dead. Oh, jeez! <coughs> Remember all those dogs that used to run around Hyrule Market? <coughs> That's all the chests. There's no big key. That's everything we need. So, get the hell out of here. Just a few miscellaneous things we gotta do before we move on to the official spirit temple. Or the Shadow Temple, it's called. I, they say this, I hear the spirits of this room talking to me. They talk about death and crypts and spirit and all that. You'd think the the Purple Temple would be the Spirit Temple. But no. It's the Shadow Temple. I can't see. There we go. This is a cool little animation here, though. You see just kind of this little uh, dot of light way off in the distance. And you kind of run at it, and it gets a little closer and a little closer. You never get there, though. Now back to Hyrule Market Town. Hyrule Castle Market Town. Actually, we're going to Hyrule Castle. You die in the future. Uh, what, man? Yeah, yeah, bye. No way, huh? Pff, whiny. Whiny little piece of crap, that guy. Yeah, whatever. You might think to yourself, we were just at Hyrule Castle. Why are you going back? Why couldn't you do them both at the same time? And the answer is because I'm a, I'm a child now. Before I was an adult, and it was all in ruins and stuff. To get to where I need to go, you need to be in the past. So here I go. Here I go. Going to Hyrule Market, gonna do some shopping. Look at me go. It's actually from Reno 911. Comedy Central show that they canceled a couple of years ago. A few years ago, uh, however long it was. Get out of the way. Please. Money. No! I got a bomb for you. Yeah, they, uh... It's, it's basically a parody of cops, that Reno 911. And so they go out on a call, and there's this crazy old woman with a bunch of shopping carts. <laughs> She's, like, not wearing a shirt or pants or anything, just wearing, like, a, a bra and some old woman underwear. So she's got these carts in the middle of the street, and she's like, It's my train! Here I go! Going shopping! That's where I got that one! There are butterflies here that you can... It is possible to touch the butterfly on the very end of your Deku stick. And it turns into a fairy. Oh, I've done it once. Ah! See? I'm not just making this stuff up. Well, most of it. Oh, this is who's been flushing all the toilets. Hate to break it to you, Link, but those, those oval green things, those aren't rupees. This one you can't really get until 
you do come back to the past. There's a Skultula down here. You need the Song of Storms, which you can only get in the future. You need bombs, which you can only get from the, uh, the Goron Temple, uh, Dodongo's Cavern. And you need a boomerang. This has nothing of value at all in here. You can talk to those seer stones. I don't think anybody has ever gone around and heard everything that every seer stone, or cyclops stone, I call them seer stone. I think they're technically called cyclops stones. Nobody's ever gone around and listened to everything everyone has had to say. And for good reason. Most of them are just really not that important. Normally you can climb some texture that looks like this. this rock wall. This one you can't. That's why you need the boomerang. Which you can't get until Zora's Domain. Allah! Bomb the king! Rada, la, la, la. Jerk. Shortcut, though. in this town just creep me out. Well, the hell with you. I was actually wondering about that. You can only come to the uh, treasure chest shop at night. Which means you can only do it if you wait out by Hyrule Castle until dark. Or if you have the Song of Sun. Burly carpenter guy. Play it, whatever, I don't care. Woof. Guy looks like a monster. The idea of this is to guess which of these chests houses a key. And it's random, it's different every time. One houses a rupee, one houses a key. And if you lose, you gotta go all the way back here and you can't advance. I think you have to leave before he'll let you play again. And it costs you 10 rupees, and then you can get some of your rupees back with this big guessing game. Technically, that last one only cost me 9 rupees. That guy looks familiar. I wish I knew where I knew him from. I think I used to work with... I don't know. If you don't have the Lens of Truth, you just pick a pattern. Right, right, left, right, right, or whatever pattern you want, and try those chests until it matches up. If you do have the Lens of Truth, you can cheat. But if you want, it's a heart piece that you get for this. If you want it sooner, which you really wouldn't, because it doesn't complete a heart. If you've been doing it in the order I've been doing it, it doesn't complete it in any sort of full heart container. But if you want it earlier, just my recommendation is to pick, pick an order. Left, right, left, right, right. There are five levels. Just pick something and keep going back. And if you run out of rupees, you can go talk to the frogs. Or you can just keep raiding the treasury by the entrance here. See, if you lost at this level, you'd get 20 rupees, so you'd actually win 10 rupees for playing the game. Oh, there's a light bulb in here. Ow, it's hot! Where else would all that light keep coming from? What pisses me off the most, though, is if you get, like, to this level, and you got a 50-50 chance, and you're, like, left, and it turns out to be the key is on the right, you got to walk all the way back here. All the way back through two blue rooms, and all the way back through two green rooms. And you talk to that guy, and curse him out, and he just goes, thanks a lot. <laughs> Shut up, I just want to play. Let me try again. No, you got to go all the way back here. Actually, while I'm here, I'll demonstrate. You can go up here, if not many people know that.
Nice plat. 